All right, I think we're ready to get started. Timberly, do you want to take it away? Yeah, I was like, seems like everyone's everyone's here. Okay. Um, hey, everyone. So thanks for joining us today um, for this webinar. We're calling it 10 Things to Know About UHS, um, which is like your on-campus medical um, health clinic, medical and health clinic, um, also covers um, other like wellness resources um, in buildings. So my name is like Timberly White, and my name is like, my name is Timberly White. Is, um, Emma, go ahead. You want to introduce yourself? My name is Emma Abed. Um, I am currently a, a second year master's student in public health and social work, and I also went here for undergrad. Um, both of us work at Wolverine Wellness, which is a part of UHS that we'll, we'll get into later in the presentation. Um, and Timberly, you just graduated from public health as well, right? Yeah, so I'm a recent MPH grad, um, currently a health coach at Wolverine Wellness. Um, and as Emma said, fun fact, yeah, we both did our undergrad here at the University of Michigan. Um, so we know a lot of firsthand what it's like to use UHS um, and figure out kind of like all the resources that you can use on campus. And so we're excited that you're all here and congrats on, on being a Wolverine. Right, right. Um, and before we get started, um, you can go ahead and submit any questions that you have while we're talking um, in the Q&A and our lovely supporting staff here, Jenna and Joe, are gonna do their best to answer the questions in real time. Um, and if you don't have questions right now or want to ask them later, we're gonna have contact information at the end um, to reach out with any questions you have after the webinar. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with number one, all of the U of M students can use UHS. So the University Health Service is available to the entire U of M community. All students of all different levels, in addition to faculty and staff, are welcome to receive care from UHS. Um, we know that finding your way around campus can be tricky. It kind of takes a while to get the hang of it, but we want to let you know that UHS is uh, located in a pretty convenient spot on central campus, right near two of the major bus stops, so um, it's really easy to access. Uh, it's going to be across from the Michigan League and right next to the Power Center. Okay, so um, thinking more so about appointments, appointments are required for clinic visits. Um, as we continue through like pandemic recovery, there are a lot of COVID precautions in place really to keep the community safe. Um, and one of these safety measures is like limited walk-ins to UHS. And so with that said, we really want to like see you and connect with you and have you come in. And, but in order to receive that care, you do have to make an appointment. Um, there are different ways to do this. And the easiest way is probably just to call UHS directly. And you can call there at the number that's listed is 734-764-8320. Um, another thing that you could do is use the online tool that, tool that allows you to connect with UHS um, like virtually. And we'll talk about that a little more later. It's called the patient portal. Um, and then the last like final option there is really just to email um, UHS there. And once your email is received, a scheduler will give you a call to set up an appointment. Um, and more information on like what to do at your appointment can be found at the link. It's just like what to expect when visiting UHS. Okay, number three, UHS offers comprehensive uh, health services. So um, UHS offers a pretty wide variety of services, all with the goal of promoting holistic well-being. Um, as you can see on the slide, these are a lot of examples of the types of services that UHS can provide. It's kind of like a one-stop shop uh, for health services. So you can go there for primary care, regular checkup appointments, uh, sexual health, mental health, nutrition, physical therapy, and a lot more. Um, I personally have used UHS for a ton of reasons during my undergraduate career and now during my grad school career as well. Um, it's such a great resource on campus. Uh, the example I always think of is during freshman year, I got pink eye for the first time. It was awful. Um, and I was able to get an appointment at UHS pretty much immediately. The doctor was really nice about it. And I was able to get medication for it same day right at the pharmacy at UHS um, and walk back to uh, my dorm. So that's a little fun fact, <laughs> a little example for you. Um, so Continuity of care is really important. And so by researching online, going to our website, reading the bios of all the physicians, all the doctors at UHS, you can find a provider that will be a good fit for you and establish a medical home on campus. Um, all this being said, if you are experiencing a medical emergency that can't wait, um, just like any other time, we encourage you to call 911 or visit the emergency department at Michigan Medicine, which we'll talk a bit more about later. Um, before we move on to the next slide, uh, 
you can see here that UHS provides comprehensive care for many of your health needs. Um, if you're currently under medical care with a doctor at home or wherever you're staying, for example, for a chronic health concern or for mental health services, you can get that care here on campus if that's more convenient for you. There's also that pharmacy at UHS that I mentioned, so you can easily transfer your medications or pick them up, um, the prescriptions at UHS, using one of the links we have on the website. Um, finally, I wanted to make a note about the mental health services at UHS. Um, some things you can visit UHS for include psychiatry, um, you know, visiting a primary, primary care doctor for medication management or substance use recovery at the Collegiate Recovery Program. Um, if you are looking for on-campus therapy, we also have that. It's just not going to be at UHS. That'll be at CAPS instead. Um, I know this is a lot of information, but something to consider and keep in mind is that all of the resources across campus are very well connected with each other. So you can't really go wrong in seeking help. Um, you know, for example, if you go to UHS asking for therapy, it'll be no problem for them to refer you to CAPS or vice versa. Okay, so what you see on your screen is what we call here the model of well being. Um, this is just a way for us to holistically look at health and wellness and our overall well-being. Um, and it's important to note the services offered by UHS are meant to foster comprehensive and holistic wellness. And this means to not only be healthy physically, um, but also in other areas such as emotionally, socially, environmentally, spiritually, intellectually, occupationally, and financially, as you see there. Um, you can reflect on questions such as like, what behaviors do you practice that promote health and safety? Um, such as like eating and sleeping enough for physical health, or you can think about other questions like what kind of support, interaction, or connection do you really need? Um, and that will maybe fall under like social health. And these are areas that really make up that model of well-being um, and is used widely across campus. And, and you can even find like a mural of it in the union. Um, and UHS also offers different resources to help you achieve holistic wellness. And, and it's really what we operate too out of um, our office with Marine Wellness. And so, yeah, that's our, our holistic way to look at that. All right, um, going back to our 10, number four, telehealth services are available at UHS. Um, the pandemic has allowed UHS to really ramp up its telehealth services for both for safety and for convenience. Um, this is still an option. So if you're not able to come into UHS in person, you can still receive care in other ways. Um, video appointments are available on Zoom. So you can talk to a doctor or nurse virtually. You can also contact um, one of your healthcare providers through the patient portal. Um, there's a messaging feature which allows you to chat with a physician um, and then in addition to those things, you can also call the 24-7 nurse advice line um, for medical advice. So um, these are all free, um, the, the nurse and video appointments and patient portal messaging. So basically receiving messaging, excuse me, ex receiving advice over the phone, um, because it's free and convenient, it could save you a medical visit to UHS, uh, the emergency room or another care facility. So always recommend calling them um, if you have questions as kind of a first stop if you're not sure what to do. Yes, so um, if you're able to use the services at UHS, you really are saving money. Um, UHS is available to U of M students at little or no cost. Um, most of the services are actually covered by a health service fee that's included in your tuition. And so um, that's something that we really push students to use is to make the most of those resources because you're paying for it. So um, we really encourage you all to you know, check you at UHS out and use those services. Um, it's beneficial in a multitude of ways to use UHS, especially because it's something that, like I said, you've already like paid for and invested in. And that fee does cover many services, um, such as like most clinic visits. Um, a lot of times that will include seeing specialists, um, nurse advice by the phone, rather day or night, um, wellness coaching, out of marine wellness, or an, even initial valuation for physical therapy. Those are just some, some of the services that might be covered um, in that fee. And however, health service fee doesn't apply to services outside of UHS, um, including Michigan Medicine, which we'll, we'll talk about the difference in those a little bit later here. Okay, number six, students have no out-of-pocket costs for many services at UHS. Um, this includes COVID testing and vaccines, flu shots, um, and other things as well. So these are all completely free to you as a student. 
Um, this is important to note because the COVID vaccine is required for all students at this point. So um, if you need, you know, first, second shots, booster, those are all available at UHS free, uh, free um, to you as, as students. Um, the flu shot, like I mentioned, also available for free at UHS. It's highly encouraged in the fall and it's super easy to go get your flu shot um, when that time comes. Um, some of the other services that are free for students include those clinic visits and nurse advice over the phone, like we mentioned. And there's a full list of costs for students on UHS's website, which is linked here. And um, that will basically walk you through all of the different things that are free to you, which things cost uh, money, um, just so you have a fairly good idea ahead of time um, and how to plan for that. Um, yes, and so I, like I stated earlier, um, UHS may bill your health insurance. And so while many things are covered at UHS, some services may cost money and these services will either um, be billed to an insurance company or you will be responsible for um, to pay for those services, which can sometimes be costly. Um, now is really a good time to understand and ask your family members kind of whether or not you have insurance. Um, and then if you are an out-of-state student, be sure to check with your insurance to see if it has coverage in the state of Michigan. Um, if you're like, Timberly, where do I find this number? You usually can find the customer service number just on the back of your insurance card. Um, and that's also important to note that you should have a copy of that with you um, and your prescription card, like when you come to campus. And so mostly students just take a picture of them and you can like have it on your phone when you go to like to those services and you don't have to have a physical copy of that. Um, for students with insurance, it's important to just take some time to um, talk with family to learn more about what the policy covers. Um, for example, like some insurance companies have deductibles, co-pays, some have other out-of-pocket expenses. Um, like other health services, UHS is confidential. And I do want to note that if you are kept on a family member's health insurance plan, um, that your private information like test results are kept private. So that is a confidential um, thing that you don't have to um, necessarily worry about there. And having health insurance is actually recommended. Um, if we don't have insurance, we're really here to help you explore like what options are available, um, especially as a University of Michigan student. Um, the managed care office, which is at UHS, will really help um, with thinking like through your insurance questions and needs. And like I said, as a reminder, we talked about it a few slides ago, um, we are linking you to a site on UHS's website that walks through um, what your costs are as a student. Okay, so you probably heard us mention Michigan Medicine a couple of times. Um, number eight is we just wanted to highlight some of the differences between U UHS and Michigan Medicine. They're not the same thing. Um, you might have already heard of Michigan Medicine. Obviously, U of M is really proud that it's such a highly regarded uh, medical institution. And while UHS coordinates with Michigan Medicine, we are separate. So um, just know that when we're talking about the services in this presentation, we are referring to UHS and not to Michigan Medicine. Um, UHS is one building right on central campus, like we said, near those bus stops, while Michigan Medicine, which is conveniently pictured here, uh, refers to a sort of sprawling campus made up of lots of different hospitals and clinics. Um, so at Michigan Medicine, student health service fees uh, do not apply. So so that's where you would have to kind of think about insurance or cash for payment if you do go to Michigan Medicine. Um, all right. So number nine here, uh, UHS has some great online tools, um, including the patient portal and the well-being website. The patient portal is like the center for all things UHS. Um, I use it to schedule my appointments, to see my test results, um, to contact my doctor, to pro, um, ask for like a callback. You can also use it um, if you have any other questions for providers or you might, it might not be the same provider that you've seen, um, but if you might have a question for someone or a medical concern, you can use it in that way also. It's super easy to use um, and we definitely recommend registering for it now before you need it. Um, so that's just much easier to schedule something when you do need it. The wellbeing website is also another um, like awesome website. And sometimes we feel like it's underused. Um, so this is where the folks at Wolverine Wellness have put together essentially a ton of resources for students overall wellness, um, whether you're having trouble with like stress or finances, alcohol use, sleep or something else, there's uh, numerous resources to help. Um, and all the wellness related events are collected here too. And they even have like short meditations, music, some stretch videos, or even like cute animal videos if you if you need to have a break there. 
All right. Um, our final point, number 10, is about Wolverine Wellness, which is a part of UHS. You've heard us mention Wolverine Wellness quite a few times now. Both of us work there currently. We're representatives of them today. Um, and we just wanted to tell you a bit more about Wolverine Wellness and what we do there. Um, Wolverine Wellness is dedicated to social justice and promoting individual and community well-being on campus. Um, we know that everyone manages their well-being a bit differently, and we basically love to support students as they learn about incorporating well-being into their U of M uh, experience. Um, as college students, you're going to experience a lot of ups and downs, um, navigate making a lot of important decisions, and finding ways to belong, um, especially just as your new camp new students on campus. Um, so some things that Wolverine Wellness offers are individual and group opportunities um, via wellness coaching to explore personal and academic success. Um, we have the collegiate recovery program, which I mentioned before, special events, even a two credit course about wellness that you can take. Um, and basically we are just a great starting point if you have questions about college or life circumstances or well-being in general. Um, so you don't have to be afraid to ask for help. Uh, we have something for everybody. Wolverine Wellness also hires undergrads to support our work. So check us out if you like what we do. Um, and we wanna invite you just to visit our office. We're in the basement of UHS. Um, there's plenty of signs. Uh, we have some safer sex supplies other freebies. And we also will do presentations um, with student organizations and learning communities. And finally, I would be remiss if I didn't mention Hawkeye, the wellness dog. <laughs> um, he's like our therapy dog uh, that we have like weekly programs. We have uh, we have him show up at different presentations and, and tablings. Um, so maybe we can see you there and connect there. Yeah, thanks, Emma. I love Hawkeye. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we um, are wrapping up here. We want you really just to know that we are here for your health. Um, we want to thank everyone who joined us today. Um, and we know from experience that UHS is a really great resource to use while you're here on campus. Um, and using this amazing resource can protect and really influence your own academic success while you're here. Um, because there's a lot of resources even housed within that one resource. And even noting that um, you're paying for this intuition, so please make the most of it and use it as much as um, you see fit for yourself. Um, we want you to know that UHS is here for you, your health needs and your questions. Um, we know you're getting bombarded with a lot of new information during orientation, um, and this might be a really challenging time. So we really recommend putting UHS's number in your phone, um, which is up there listed. And, and then we've also put UHS's address and like the website, um, and you can follow us. We put our social media there. So you're on Facebook um, and then UHS was on Twitter there. And then you can follow us on Wolverine Wellness and, and find out a lot more information just about the resources that are housed um, within UHS. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all that we have for today. So please feel free to, um, if you have any questions, let us know, reach out um, and keep in touch and go blue.